Previously on Physics 101 The average velocity in one dimension is equal to the component of the average velocity delta x over delta t i hat Oftentimes, we would want to be able to know our velocity at a particular instant in time rather than our average velocity over a finite time interval. In the late 1600s, with the invention of calculus, scientists began to understand how to describe an object's motion at any moment in time. Recall our moving car from point A to point F. If we will focus on locations A and B in figure A, the average velocity during the interval is given by the slope of the blue line. And for the interval during the car move from location A to F, the average velocity is represented by the slope of the longer blue line. Now, let us focus our attention in figure B. As you can observe, the line between point A and point B becomes steeper and steeper as the two points become closer to each other until the line becomes tangent to the curve as indicated by the green line. The slope of this tangent line represents the car's velocity at point A. And from our method, we just determined the instantaneous velocity of the car at a particular time t. Thus, the instantaneous velocity v of t equals the limiting value of the ratio delta x over delta t as delta t approaches zero i hat. This limit is called the derivative of x with respect to t in calculus notation written as v of t equals dx dt i hat. The instantaneous velocity v of t can be positive, zero, or negative. If we go back to figure A, we can observe that in the first 10 seconds, the slope of the position time graph is positive, giving us an instantaneous velocity which is positive since the car is moving in the larger values of x. At point B, the slope and instantaneous velocity are zero and we can safely say that the car is momentarily at rest. After point B, the instantaneous velocity is negative since the slope is negative and the car is moving in the smaller values of x. Remarks we will use the word velocity to signify instantaneous velocity. And we will use the adjective average when we are interested in average velocity. Also, we argued before that the magnitude of the average velocity is not the average speed. However, the magnitude of instantaneous velocity is the instantaneous speed. Next on Physics 101.